Hey guys, Randy here. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna dive into the Jobber and QuickBooks sync. There's a lot of questions around this. We're gonna approach it from a high level perspective, but provide you all the resources you need to get started and hopefully answer some of your most common questions. Let's go. Welcome to our video on the new QuickBooks integration with Jobber. Today we'll be addressing some frequently asked questions to help you understand this integration better. Before we begin, let me introduce you to Adhesion. We help small businesses grow and scale through a three-pillar strategy called the Adhesion Triangle. As a Jobber partner, we're able to help across all three pillars by integrating Jobber with your other applications while automating processes, developing and documenting standard operating procedures, and gathering data across all of your different business applications, including Jobber, to help you make data-driven decisions. First, let's discuss how this new integration differs from the previous one. With the new integration, there's a one-time import for client information and products and services from QuickBooks to Jobber. The sync is now one way from Jobber to QuickBooks, making Jobber the primary source for clients and products. Additionally, the sync process is now automatic and ongoing, eliminating the need for manual syncing. And if you encounter any sync errors, you can easily resolve them directly from the QuickBooks dashboard in Jobber. Connecting Jobber with QuickBooks is a breeze. Simply navigate to the Apps section in Jobber at the bottom left of your main menu. Select QuickBooks Online from the App Marketplace and click Connect. Once you authorize the connection, there's an optional step to import clients and products from QuickBooks to Jobber. This import is one time and one way. During this process, any detected duplicates will be flagged, allowing you to choose how to handle them. It is important to note that Jobber suggests that when completing this integration, you do this at the beginning of your Jobber implementation, if possible, to avoid any duplicates. When it comes to syncing, several items seamlessly transfer from Jobber to QuickBooks. This includes your clients, products and services, invoices, payments, and even timesheets. Clients in Jobber sync to QuickBooks based on certain triggers, such as when they appear on an invoice or when they're updated. The integration ensures that client data is consistent across both platforms. Additionally, properties in Jobber, like billing addresses, are also synced to QuickBooks. One of the biggest concerns that most people have when it comes to syncing their information between Jobber and QuickBooks is the duplication of records, and clients is the most common issue that I hear about. When syncing clients between Jobber and QuickBooks, it's important that the information matches exactly, specifically the company name or the individual's name, because that's what's looked at to determine if the record already exists or not. It's important that this information matches between both systems, otherwise you will end up with duplicate records. Products and services in Jobber sync to QuickBooks when they appear on an invoice or when they're created or updated. In QuickBooks, services from Jobber are categorized as services, while products are labeled as non-inventory products. Invoices from Jobber sync to QuickBooks when they're sent or updated. Any changes made to an invoice in Jobber will prompt it to sync to QuickBooks. It is important to note that the paid status no longer syncs back to Jobber. Payments, including refunds and tips, can be set to sync when they're collected. If you're using Jobber payments, the reconciliation of payouts can also be synced. It's essential to ensure that these payments map correctly to your chart of accounts within QuickBooks. Timesheets from Jobber can be set to sync to QuickBooks when they're approved. To ensure successful syncing, employee names in both platforms must match. Once synced, you can view these timesheets in QuickBooks under the Time Activities by Employee Detail report. A common question we hear is where to make edits. Since the sync is one way, 
Always ensure you make your edits in Jobber to maintain consistency and avoid overriding data in QuickBooks. For those using QuickBooks Desktop, it is important to note that Jobber does not sync with it directly. The integration is exclusively with QuickBooks Online. However, there are manual import options available for QuickBooks Desktop users. To customize your sync settings, simply navigate to the QuickBooks Sync Activity dashboard in Jobber. Here, you can tailor your sync settings and even adjust your chart of accounts to fit your business needs. Do you have past items that you need in QuickBooks? No worries. With the backdating feature, you can sync older items like invoices, payments, payouts, and timesheets based on their creation date. Syncing can sometimes lead to errors or warnings, but with the Intuitive Sync Activity Dashboard, you can easily view and address these issues, ensuring a smooth continued integration process. If you have more questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to visit the Jobber Help Center or contact the dedicated support team with Jobber. For those of you seeking a more tailored integration solution, Adhesion offers an advanced Jobber integration. This solution provides completely custom integrations between Jobber, QuickBooks, and even more platforms. If there's a specific integration need that wasn't addressed in this video, please reach out to us. We're here to craft a solution that fits your unique business requirements.